Has anyone seen my paper? Has anyone seen my... My newspaper? Well, Amy had an accident when I was changing her. Uh, Dad, it was the only thing to hand. Look, you shouldn't be changing her in here, and certainly not on the dining table. Oh, stop my dream. A bit of baby doings never hurt anyone. Little ones make a mess wherever and whenever. <laughs> They're not the only ones. Do you want a cup of tea, love? Yes, please. Oh, you'll have a job. There's no milk left. Someone's guzzling the gold top fast as we can buy it. It's like having a giant blue tit in residence. Hold on, didn't you have some cereal as well, Blanche? I need me roughage at my age. Helps keep the wrinkles away. Oh, well, how does it do that? Oh, use your imagination, love. Happen you should have started eating it ten year ago. Um, I'll just nip and get the milk. OK, I'll get it. We agreed we weren't going to go near the Barlows. Yeah, well, the owner. All right, all right. Ah, Karen, I might have guessed. What do you want? Well, you ask me straight questions, so I'll give you a straight answer. I want this. And why would you want a family car, Baron? I mean, it's me that needs safe transport for me kid. Sorry. Our kid. Let's go. Let's not give her the satisfaction. I want this car. Your hobby's got a whole fleet of motors over there, Karen, so do one. All right, Tracy, that's enough. No, there's no way she's getting her hands on our car. Our car? Did you buy it, did you? You know very well we won that car, fair and square. No, correction, I won it, because I knew Ellen Kaminsky did hats and not shoes. Same as you knew Wilson, Keppel and Betty did the sand dance, I suppose. Exactly. You only answered one question. Mm, yeah, but it was the question that mattered. The one that entitles me to a share of the profits when we flog this thing. Mmm, <laughs> look at his face, cos he knows I'm right. Yeah, well, I'm afraid Karen has got a point, morally, if not legally. Oh, stuff morals, look, Dad! Karen made a contribution. You can't ignore that. Now, I would rather not resolve this on the doorstep. Same here. Ooh, fine. Oh, so I think he's grown into his ears over years. When I think of his investiture, you know, at Carnarvon, it were all I could do not to jump on a train with a roll of duct tape. Sorry, Vera? Charlie's ears. Charlie Stubbs? No, wind, sir. Like I was saying, I think he'll do a grand opening of our house if our Jack can get some pigeons in. What's Prince Charles got to do with pigeons? Have you never heard of the Royal Loft? Oh, he knows his birds, does Charlie. Yeah, it's quite a fancy. Now that I added. Are you all right, love? Oh, I don't know, Veer. It's just, what do I care if some bloke I've never met sleeping with his wife's sister or an ear trumpet goes for a tenor at an auction? Eh? On the box. I'm living other people's lives all day, every day. I had one of my own once. Well, you still have. You can come and go as you please. I wish I could. I've got to do something. I'm going up the wall. I need a reason to get up in the morning. Oh, well, you want to swap with our Jack? He spends his life looking for reasons not to. Don't look so worried. This is good for me. Darling, that's what you said the last time. It's OK. I was daft before trying to pitch straight in like nothing had happened. And now? And now I've thought things through properly, prepared myself. I'm ready for this. I need this. All right, but listen, if anything starts going wrong, if anything starts... Oh, how good to see you back, Sunita. How are you? All right, thanks. Oh, you must be so relieved. I mean, because I know what goes on in women's prisons these days. <laughs> I mean, Googie Withers would turn in her grave. Yeah, come she on, me. what? Doris is right for once. No picnic inside, is it? No. No, which is why she wants to forget about it. So two ham and pineapple pieces. Is that everything? Oh, yeah, good for tonight. I've decided to decorate our new spa with a tropical theme. So me and Les are having an Hawaiian night to celebrate. Well, I should make the most of it while you can, because you'll soon be saying aloha to someone from the council after I've spoken to them, and they'll sink your tub faster than the Japanese club at Pearl Harbor. I will not bet on it. I know how to play it, council. Mm -hmm. They'll off and puff, and I'll stonewall till they get bored. My spa will stay exactly where it is. But we just can't stand the racket. Then all I have to say to you is balls. Cotton wool, second shelf over there. I'm not selling. It isn't up to you. 
I've got a share in that motor as well. Ah, now, maybe the word share is the key. I assume we're keeping the car, so I think we need to come to some sort of collective ownership. Sounds like a recipe for chaos to me. And your solution is? Right, now there are seven members in the team, seven days in the week. So if each member has the car for a day... Uh, hang on got a minute, you can't count the baby. That's like giving her two goes. So, well, I'll have the little brat share. <laughs> you will not. I will have it for two days, on a Saturday and on a Sunday. Karen? In your dreams? Now, that car is in our name, so if Amy don't get her day, you're getting nothing. Come on, Solomon, sort that one out. Well, how about if you have the car once a week, starting today, and we see how it works on there? <laughs> it must be on Steve. Uh, there's the key, and the uh, button operates the alarm. I have in my hand a piece of paper. It's like the Munich Agreement all over again, is this? Come on, Karen. Come on, Deirdre. What's happened? Ask Mr Chamberlain over here. That's great then, Sarah. Right, I'll see you in 20 minutes. All right, bye. Why is Sarah coming in? Oh, I'll take you for a nice romantic lunch. Lunch? Mm -hmm. It's not even 10 yet. No, no, but we've got to get around seven shops first. What are you talking about? Love the man! Love the man's empire. I thought we'd do a grand tour. Dish out wedding cake for the assistants, give you a chance to say, I are. What do you say? I don't know, Dev. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Not even a fancy restaurant. I think I'd be happier just getting back into the saddle here. Yeah. What with every customer offering sympathy and dragging up your worst memories, why? Dev, they don't need dragging anywhere. They're right here, right up front. Maybe for good. Okay. Hey. You remember this? Yeah. Yeah? Right. Starting right here, and right now, we are going to swamp them with more happiness and there's room for. Thank you. It's a nice thought, but there's no blocking them out. I have tried familiarity. Coming straight back here, then the holiday, then sitting at home. But wherever I go, there's always going to be that sound or colour or smell waiting to take me to the wedding. The back of the police car, that cell. I am just going to have to learn to live with that. Darling, we are going to get through this. And yeah, things are different. But it's like you say, clinging to routine won't change them back. And you cannot hide behind a counter. So can I show off my beautiful wife to my staff or not? And I promise you, you will feel like royalty. All right. All right. But mm -hmm. if anyone curtsies, Mm -hmm. I'm out there. <laughs> oh, cheers. Here, has he got two, two sugars? Two sugars. How you? Stood to reason. You don't get to be as sweet as you by accident. Can the family not in today? No. She said she was feeling a bit rough last night. Could have sworn I just saw it behind the wheel of a people carrier. Oh, why? And what's it got to do with you? You work in here all of a sudden. Don't be daft. Mrs. B is far too busy. Shopping, lunch, more shopping. <laughs> In fact, we shouldn't be wasting our time talking. We have a lifestyle to support. That is the first sensible thing you have said, Libby, since I've been here. Thanks. And you're going to discipline her? Frank, it's just a bit of banter, love. It happens all the time at work. Which I wouldn't know anything about, I suppose, being a freeloading bimbo. That's how they see me, isn't it? Yeah, what does it matter what they think? So it's true, then? Well, no, no, no. I, I don't know what goes on in here, do I? It'd probably give me nightmares if I did. Is there anything else, darling? Otherwise, I'm... Busy, doing something important. That's what I want to be able to say, Dan. I'm fed up of rotting at home, with no company, no purpose. I want a job. Here. Right. And we'd spend more time together and I'd have a focus. We got on all right when we worked together before, didn't we? Yeah. And I remember the other girls, all them girls... Yeah, I remember all them girls giving you stick and you having to work three times as hard to try and win them over. But I reckon you could do that here, Frank, yeah. I mean, make some friends. I mean, Janice and Fizz ain't so bad, and I reckon you and Hayley... I'm not here to win friends, Dan. And don't forget there's other advantages. We saved a packet the last time, didn't we? Eh? What, were you being too knackered to go out at night or do anything else? Although it did make it the more special on the rare occasion we did actually get it together. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, I think it's very admirable and healthy you want to earn your own money. It takes a little bit longer to save up for your life's little luxuries, doesn't it? But I reckon you appreciate them all the more for the weight. Fair play to you, love. Yes, I think it's good. Sold to the man with the gold tie. When do you want to start? I'll get back to you. Well, in your own time, babe. Not a bad moment, this, is it? Was it really worth all that aggro for just one day a week? Uh, you agreed that, Steve, not me. I shook hands. Yeah, but I want this to be our family car, not theirs. It could be the perfect place to start a family. Because the seats fold right back. Well, I've got work, and so have you. It's too late for me to show up now anyway, and what's Steph going to do, sack you? I'll flip him bold and I'll sack you. I'll have to leave when I'm pregnant anyway. And the only way to do that is to give this thing a proper road test. sure he gets it right, Sarah. It's important. Now, listen, listen. Don't forget to put the bottle on ice. Yeah, now, I've got to go. Got to go. Bye. Bye. There you go. That wasn't too much of an ordeal, was it? No. Mm -hmm. Everyone was lovely. Mm -hmm. Though I have been fighting the urge to do this all morning. <laughs> Funny returning here. Just took me right back. Yeah, that's what I said to at last. Whatever else it is, it'll always be the place we first met. Mm. Seems like five minutes in a lifetime ago since I was stood behind that counter. If I'd only known then, I'd have... What, run a mile? Hmm? Seriously. If you'd known the agony you had to go through to get to where we are now, would you still have done it? What do you think? Of course I wish we'd cut out all the wasted time and the tears. But if what happened was the only way, then yeah, I'd do it again every time. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. See, because you don't get a choice on this. Oh. I had to be with you. Anyway, they say, mm -hmm. if out is worth having, it's worth waiting for. Right. Like lunch, for example. Oh. Your wish, baby, is my command. So? Come on. No, well, that was a lovely dinner, honey, but uh, shouldn't we be heading out now? I mean, we've been driving for hours. Everything went down all right, didn't it? I mean, you haven't got indigestion now, have you? No, why? Well, this should do us nicely, then. Hang on a minute. You weren't serious about us doing it in here, were you? Well, yeah, I mean, then the... Come on, I know you hate Tracy, but this is... Oh! This isn't to do with sticking one at Tracy. Steve, where do you want our baby conceived? Incarnation Street. Or somewhere lovely. Like this. <clears throat> I mean, you've got to admit, the uh, scenery is pretty lovely, wouldn't you say? Where's the uh, handle for the seat? Why <laughs> 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 oh, don't we make a baby, eh? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's it. We're going home. Oh, just in the mood then. We can't go now. Come on, we can't come all this way and then not. What a waste of time. Well, you know what? She's flipping ruined it again. Stella. Stella, love. Whoa. Aloha, Mr. Les. Hello, what's going on? Hawaiian night at Battersby Spa. Cocktails are mixed, pizza's in oven, and water's lovely. What do you reckon to that? Well, like you say, it's book him, Dano. Where do you get the, where do you get the outfit? I wore it to a beach party at Weather Arms. That's where I swipe music from. Hold on, hold on. So all the punters there were garping at your coconuts? Don't be daft. They couldn't see out. Anyway, there's only one fella I let shake tree. Now, you get yourself upstairs, strip off, switch on and dive in. I'll be up with pizzas in a sec. Oh, on a 
Honestly, I didn't think Candice had stamped that dog kipping over as it was without him doing that. What are you laughing at? What Kirk said. Oh, yeah, stroke of genius, that Kirk. Never mind Candice, now the Jimmy chewed. Honestly, do you really think that helps? I have to pay for them shoes. It's a good job they were rip-offs. Where are we going now? Well, I don't know, but we can't go back in there with that dog. Oh, Rob. I'll have to take him back to the kennels, mate. Can we take him for a walk before we have to go, then? <sighs> right, come on, I suppose another 15 minutes won't hurt. Come on, come on. I can't believe you made me stop at the petrol station. Well, we wouldn't have got home if I hadn't. You didn't need to put a full tank in, Steve. It was only half full when we got it. Where are we going? We're going to go around the block to have used up what we've put in. What? But there's no point doing it if you're not sure the girls will be chuffed if you join. Yeah. Can I start Monday? All right, if that's what you really want. Only, you see, some people find living in a tiny house and work together in such a small office a bit claustrophobic, you know what I mean? Hey, not us, though, Dan. I could never get sick of you. Yeah, hey, Frank, it ain't a matter of that. There's Mike to consider. He might feel left out, do you know what I mean, love? It's all right, Dan. Untwist your knickers. I could tell you weren't keen this morning. You forget you're trying to kid sometimes. I ain't trying to kid anyone. Hey, look at Johnny Bond's back from the car, The state of them ladies. There's two inches of filth on them walls. There's two feet in the gents. Man, you, I'm going to have to repaint our lavvy, aren't I, for opening? Do you know, I'd be so embarrassed if the prince took short, do you know what I mean? Man, the old place won't start it up. Yeah, but Charlie would have seen worse. He's always going to the third world, isn't he? I shouldn't change a thing, V. They like it as it is. Why don't you spend the money on a new dress for the opening? What do you think I should wear? Having seen Camilla's clobber, don't go too overboard. I'll take you shopping. It's not like I've got anything else to do, is it? Oh, terrific. So you'll go with me to pick a frock? Yeah. Hey, our Jack's face. It'll be whiter than my Jubilee mug when he finds out I'm going shopping with you, Tarlo. <laughs> well, that's made her evening. Come on, let's go home and I'll make yours. I'm all right. No, you're not. And I admit, I was trying to put you off this morning, but that's only because I didn't want the girls to give you hell. You know what I mean? Come on, I'll keep you busy. Look at her. Nothing better to do than try and drop Karen in her. I don't know what he sees in her. No, me neither. Wish he didn't know. Why is it I always fall for the wrong fellas? Oh, same as me. I mean, I'm totally gung-ho when I first meet someone, love and affection and all that. I mean, I serve up the full three courses, but all most of them want is a quick nibble. Oh, what I would do for a fellow like you, you know, I could do with some proper old-fashioned romancing. Well, if there's any justice in this world, you'll get it, kid. Same again. Oh, yeah, go on, on then. Very cosy. Mm. What's the sky then? Still reckoning on turning in? Well, just gonna have to wait and see, aren't we? <laughs> I'll put bubbles back on once we've met this pizza. No point getting it soaked. Two rights. If delicious is this. <laughs> you know what Jerry Hall said? To keep a fella happy, you gotta be a cooking kitchen, tarted bedroom. And well, I make me arm rolls up in bathroom. Oh, oh what more could a man ask for? Oh. Evan's gonna be an empty climax. <laughs> We've even got the arps. No, no, that, them's not arps. Them's ukuleles. My uncle Sid used to play with them. Fallowfield Farm, his mates called him. Good, was it? Terrible. But you have the same book teeth, like. Could eat an apple through a letterbox, my mum used to say. <laughs> Give us nightmares when I was a nipper. <laughs> Bet you never thought you'd end up living like this back then. No, I've come a long way. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. This is the life, all right. This is the life. Ooh. Come on, let's have another blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. What are you looking at? Well, I'm not quite sure. I was coming back from the cabin when I saw him first. Then they came around again, and again, and now I've lost count. I think she's forgotten where the brakes are. All right. If you think you're getting any of our petrol, then you can forget it, because you're not getting nothing. Have you got any idea how pathetic you sound, Karen? Steve, you must be really proud. Steve, you should be at work. What price a reliable partner, eh? You can rely on me. Well, I hope so. I want to look pretty daft. 
so that's what you were playing at. You sneaky little... Thank you. It's a lovely surprise. No, I really do feel like a princess. There's a bottle of bubbly waiting inside, with your highness's permission. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Now. It's all because he's all oh. wet. We'll be starving by the time we get back to the kennels. Can't we give us something to eat at all? Oh, yeah, the bath's on. I don't suppose they'll hear us. There's some cooked sausages in the fridge. Yeah, well, I could go for one of them myself. Come on, we'll risk oh, it. So that smells nice. Oh, looks like he agrees. Quick, let's get them bangers. Oh, no. Michael! No, no, you mustn't go up there. Well, it's to us then. Stop it! 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 Stop it!